Yo guys, what's going on? I hope you're all having a good day. My name is John AFK, and today I wanted to bring you guys a video sharing my thoughts on the Black Ops 4 leaks that have been going around these past few days. I'm not too big on keeping up with leaks because simply I don't really care for them, but I thought it would be interesting to share my thoughts with you guys and also get your feedback on the situation. Most people I've heard cover the leaks said that the sources are credible and have known to been true in the past. These are leaks uh, mostly on the gameplay and not too much on story, so if you don't want to hear these potential spoilers, you can click off the video right now because I will be sharing them in a few seconds. But if you guys do enjoy the video or agree with what I said, I'd appreciate if you could leave a like on the video and subscribe and also turn on the notification bell because I will be posting a lot of Black Ops 4 content throughout the season of Black Ops 4. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Now starting off with some of the uh, map details, this is going to be about classified. This is a map that we least heard of uh, right now as I'm making this video. Uh, I didn't really read too much into the gameplay, but I did hear about, like, you know, there's going to be more add-ons, more different rooms, a new pack-a-punch room or something like that. So it's basically going to kind of be like Mob of the Dead in some kind of sorts where it's more like a remas uh, remake instead of a remaster. But um, I also saw that there was going to be dogs, and that kind of really just makes me think about the Pentagon Thief and if he's going to be... In the map or not because the pentagon thief does have a special round and who knows maybe he might be a boss or something or maybe he just might not even be in the map at all hearing from these leaks there is going to be a shield in classified and that's pretty cool because we never had a shield in the original map which was five so that's going to be a pretty cool add-on but hearing all these leaks you know it sounds like the map overall is going to be a fairly sized map. It's not going to be too big like Origins or Gorod Krovi or anything like that, but it's still going to be pretty cool to play. Now, the next thing that I'm going to be talking about are the perks that are going to be in Black Ops 4. They said that there's going to be a total of eight new perks. The first perk that I'm going to be talking about is Bloodlust or Death Wish, and the description is, Upon losing your health, you are given a second chance and buffs. It does have a cooldown. So that kind of sounds like, I don't know, maybe some type of quick revive, but kind of mixed with Juggernaug or something. Um, I don't know. We're, re we're really going to have to wait for the game to come out just to see how that perk works. Uh, the next perk is Defensive Tortoise. And the description is, if the player has equipped the abilable shield, they are protected on all sides. An explosive blast is created upon the shield being destroyed. So about this perk, it sounds a little weird that you'd have to build something and buy the perk just to have the perk effect. Like say if you just have the perk uh, overall without the shield, it's going to kind of be a little weird because you can't use the perk powers. Um, the next perk that I'm going to be talking about is Stronghold. And it, it says that Stronghold creates a defensive zone surrounding the player while shooting and this kind of sounds like electric cherry but instead of you know protecting you when you reload it protects you when you shoot so that's going to be a that's going to be a kind of a cool perk to use uh the next one is widow's whale and it's pretty much similar to widow's wine uh when you take damage it activates a defensive explosion which freezes all the zombies nearby and it says that it has two charges and it has a cooldown time. So that's actually pretty weird. Um, it's actually going to be a pretty cool ma uh, pretty cool perk to kind of use. But, you know, it, it's, it's pretty much almost the same thing as Widow's Wine. So I, I guess that's really pretty cool. Uh, the next perk is Perception. And this works kind of like a perk that we had before called Virtu Vulture's Aid. And you can basically see zombies through walls. And it has a little indicator to say if zombies are trying to sneak up on you or something. There was a gum that was supposed to be released in Black Ops 3. And it kind of has some of the perk abilities in 
or yeah, the perk abilities. Uh, the next perk that we're going to be talking about is PhD Slider. And you guys know what PhD is. It's one of the best perks ever in Zombies, in my opinion. And everyone's been asking for this perk to come in Black Ops 3. It never did. It was replaced with the Widow's Line. But they are bringing it in Black Ops 4. And it has the uh, Dolphin Dive ability, except for it's not for Dolphin Diving. It's for Sliding. Hence what the name is, PhD Slider. The next the next new perk that I'm going to be talking about is Bandolier. And this perk lets you carry more reserved ammo. And that's actually pretty cool. I felt like that was pretty useful in World War II Zombies. And it's probably going to be pretty useful in Black Ops 4 Zombies. It's, it's pretty useful in basically any Zombies experience that you really play. Because, you know, you have more ammo. Um, the next perk is pretty much the last one is called time slip and time slip decreases cooldown time on equipment perks and teleporters and this pretty reminds me of that one gum I forgot what the heck it's called but it pretty much does what this perk is doing so that's pretty cool that they didn't save it for um, one of the elixirs they are actually using it as a perk and it's pretty cool that we're getting more new perks for Black Ops 4 because that's what the community has been asking for. Now, the next leak that I'm going to be talking to you guys about is the elixirs. Now, there's going to be lots of different elixirs, what uh, it's been stated. But um, the first elixir that we're going to be talking about is Unknown. Um, I don't know if there's probably no name for it right now, or there probably is. People just probably don't know it. But... It, what it does is it teleports you to a down player, so that's actually going to be pretty useful during, you know, games, maybe a boss fight or something. The next elixir is Control Z, and nearby zombies become allies, and they attack the hostile zombies, and that's actually pretty cool. It has the uh, abilities of Turned from Black Ops 3, that was one of the Pack-a-Punch variants, and... The last one that we're going to be talking about that they covered in the leaks, it's also an unknown name, but what it does is it drops points for teammates to pick up. This is pretty much a, a kind of like mechanic that was used in World War II. It's kind of like the bank system, but it's easier, it's quicker, and no one really knows if the points that you drop are your points or just you know theoretical points that they can pick up. And, you know, no one really knows until the game will all come out. Now, with the Elixirs, we did see one in Avenged Sevenfold's music video for their new song, Mad Hatter. And this was the Pop Shocks uh, gum. It was a version of that. But with the Elixirs, we didn't really see them use it, but we did see them drink it in the trailer. So it's pretty much confirmed that that gum or that Elixir is going to be come back. And I'm really excited to see if they bring other ones that, you know, were actually pretty useful, possibly even Killing Time or something. Um, another one that I'd like to see really come back would be Perkaholic, just for, you know, those players that really want to see all those icons on the screen. Because whenever I play Zombies, I don't really get Perkaholic for more of, like, the abilities. Well, obviously, everyone, you know, would like all those abilities at once. But I feel like the logos all together filling up your screen is just one of the coolest things to me. It's uh, pretty cool to see, all, to see all the icons lined up on the bottom left of your screen as you're playing. Um, but yeah, it's, just, it's, it's a really cool thing to see. Now the next thing that I'm going to be talking about is the talisman modifiers. And these kind of sound like the consumables from World War II. Starting off, the first one is... Uh, you start with certain perks. Uh, another one is you never lose a specific uh, perk slot. So like say if you have a specific perk in a specific perk slot, you won't end up losing that one. So I guess that one's kind of cool. Uh, there's mystery box guarantees. Who knows if those will have wonder weapons in them. And there's 30 plus more from what the leaks said. Now moving off from all that, uh, I'm going to be talking about the special weapons, and we've seen some of them in the trailer. Uh, the ones that we have seen are used for the new Chaos Crew um, 
you know, you know, it was like the the hammer and the sword and the staff and all those other things. But the special weapons that we're gonna get for our other crews are gonna be the katana, the flamethrower, the DG five, and the death machine. I think the katana is gonna be held with Takio. The flamethrower is gonna be with Nikolai. The DG five is gonna be with Rick Toffin, and the death machine is gonna be with Dempsey. And what's also stated in these leaks is that they do increase uh, strength with kills. So, you know, if you keep killing zombies with the weapons, then they'll keep getting better and better as you go on through the rounds. Also, another thing to add about these is that they do grant armor whenever you kill. So, in other words, this kind of does sound like a World War II thing. And it sounds like, unfortunately... Juggernaug might not even be in Black Ops 4 at all. And that's actually really sad because, you know, Juggernaug was a like a good perk that everyone would go after. You know, whenever you started a map, that's what you'd be looking for. You'd be trying to find out what route is best to get to Juggernaug. You know, you'd always have to rely on Juggernaug. And I feel like if they are taking that away, they should take it away for the Chaos crew. But they should leave it in the in the uh, other storyline like with blood of the dead and stuff because i feel like just taking it away it would be it would be a little strange but who knows only time will tell if juggernaut is even in the game or not now the other thing that i'm going to be talking about is the throwable uh items the first one is a grenade there's also going to be a semtex there's all going to there's also going to be a acid grenade a fire grenade a Molotov, uh, deployable turret, and there's going to be even more than that. And these sound a little bit cool, you know. We obviously know what grenade Semtex and Molotov is, and the acid grenade you could have gotten in Blackout while it was out. I got it like once through one of the mystery box supply drops, but I didn't get to use it. I died, unfortunately. But the fire grenade, the deployable turret, that one kind of sounds like it's from uh from infinite warfare because i remember in the beast from beyond boss fight you know that's pretty much what what you're using you can also build them and stuff and you know like i said there's going to be more so there could even be tomahawks or throwing knives there could be so many different ones that we don't even know yet now the last thing that i'm going to be talking about is the operator weapon mods from multiplayer will also be used in zombies and yeah that's pretty much going to cover all of the leaks for Black Ops 4. This is probably going to be my only video covering leaks considering I'm not really into them. I don't really care. But uh, yeah, these weren't really, like I said, leaks spoiling any story details or anything because I, I wouldn't look at those and I don't know if you guys would. But you know, that's still cool, I guess. But like I said, if you guys did enjoy the video, or agree with anything that I said in this video, you guys can leave a like to support me. I would be pretty much appreciated for that. You can also uh, subscribe and turn on the bell notification just so you get an alert for all of my Black Ops 4 and upcoming content that I will be posting. But yeah, I really want to get involved more with the community just because I love zombies overall. It's a really good game. Uh, but yeah, if you guys would like, you guys can also share my videos too. That would also be supporting me. But if you guys did enjoy the video, like I said, leave a like and I'll catch you guys on the next one.